This tattoo is do or die. Maddie and I have some unfinished business. I don't think my moment of clarity could have come at a better time. Sitting like a rock, that's awesome. I'm gonna do anything I can to get the best tattoo out of you and make sure you don't go home. That is not in the cards today, I tell you that. Holy <laughs> This is the rematch of the century. <laughs> it's just gangster, dude. You have one hour to tattoo a geometric wolf head, and your time starts now. <laughs> I wanna play it. <laughs> God damn, that's a clean line. They don't call him clean for nothing. You think that is a looking okay? Yeah. Having shading in my geometric wolf is definitely gonna give me an edge because clean's piece is gonna be a flat piece of line work. When it comes to anything black and gray, I own it. Thank you for all the help today. Three, two, one. That's it, machine's down, time is up. Okay, it is time to critique your work. Clean, let's start with you. Every line on this thing is ruler straight, and that shows a ton of technical application in itself. I think you stand out. Christian. The shapes in here actually form a 3D geometric model of the wolf, as opposed to clean, where it's just a bunch of lines and shapes. My vote's for Christian. For me, I see geometry, and I see straight lines and cleans. Sticking with clean. The shading on that thing is really what makes it stand out. My vote's for Christian. The winner of the face-off is Christian. Yes. Morning artists, yesterday you tattooed one glute, the first six hours of a 12-hour gluteus maximus tattoo. Many times as a tattoo artist, you must finish what someone else started. And today, you must complete another artist's tattoo. And another artist will be finishing what you started. Are you serious right now? This is bull. You must all give your current design to the canvas's new artist. You can alter the design you're handed, but you cannot touch the glute that has already been tattooed. This is ridiculous. This is the ultimate head-to-head -head comparison on the same canvas. After you consult with your new canvases, you will have six hours to tattoo their other glute. Based on your work on both glutes, one of you will be packing your machines. Good luck. You have six hours to complete your glute tattoo. And remember, if your technical application isn't flawless, you'll be packing your machines. And your time starts now. Oh. Let's do this. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Getting your glutes tattooed two days in a row is absolutely brutal. Today, more than ever, technical application is important because you want to get in and get out. Avoiding as much skin trauma as possible and being efficient. Your left side is so swollen, it's almost impossible to match this up perfectly. Don's side, it's a completely different size because of her swelling. This isn't your fault. This is just because you got work so hard in one day. I have to make a tattoo identical to the left side, but if I can't match up the goddamn stencil, I'm screwed. I might try and do it again while you're laying down. This week, you tattooed for 12 hours. Six hours on one glute and six hours on another glute, finishing another artist's design. Each glute you tattooed will be compared side by side with the other artist's tattoo on the other glute. One of you will win and one of you will lose. Don and Aaron. Well, Don, realistically, this is pretty clean. Your color blends are really nice. And for the amount of coverage you have on the skin, it's nice saturation. You did a good job. Aaron, on day one, you chose to not tattoo because you were in pain. This is your only shot in yep. proving that you deserve to stay here. Why did you choose this one? I knew that I could do it in the amount of time, and I knew I could do it well. I definitely wouldn't have designed it like that, but it was already there. I like the way you ended the wing better. It's a much cleaner ending than yours is done. And your really sculpted black outline is very clean. Thank you. Final answers. I'm going with Don. I'm going with Aaron. Aaron. Congratulations, you won this head to head. Okay, artists, you have six hours to tattoo, and your time starts now. Ready? Yeah. You ready? Let's kill this.
I was nervous when she picked the subject because I knew it was going to be something totally crazy because she's definitely from another planet, for sure. Danny is one of the strongest competitors, not only on the girls' team, but in the entire competition. I was, in my mind, I think, making it more difficult than it was. So to be able to defeat her is going to say a lot about my artistic ability. Ever since I could hold a pencil, I was drawn when I was five, and I just never stopped. That's your calling. You knew it was in you, girl. Today, you had to face off in a head-to-head -head battle. Based on your work, half of you will be up for elimination. Danny and Laura. Laura, you called out a new school alien holding a Milky Way galaxy. I really like this illustration, this application of the shading from the line, multiple tones and shades of color from black to open skin is very, very nice. Anywhere you look throughout this head of the alien, you see the color saturation is equal throughout every tone of color, which is the main thing we're looking for today. Let's take a look at Danny's tattoo. The battle at the drawing table is really close. And as far as how you sculpt this image with the color contouring, you do a great job. It's a killer tattoo. It's an incredible rendering. I'm super impressed for throwing this together, having no concept of what this was going to be. I love this battle. I wish this battle was every week. Me too. All right, guys, who wins this head-to-head -head face off? In technical application, Laura looks stronger. If I just look at the head versus Danny's, it's just so clean and so meticulous. Laura's application is really stunning. Laura for the win. My vote for Laura. The winner of the face off is Laura. That means, Danny, you're up for elimination. Good job, Danny. Josh and Gary, this is your chance to save yourself from elimination by facing off. You have six hours, and your time starts now. Awesome. Ready? Now we go. Yes. Gary versus Josh, if there's a fist fight to be had, these guys are the ones to do it. Dig it? Yeah. A realistic tiger can be very tricky because somebody has to know how to emulate different values of fur for the different values of stripes and colors in the tiger. You give me that face done in two hours? I hope so. You have to be able to hit the textures of the mouth, precise with the whiskers, shiny with the eyes. This whiskers right here is just a hair higher than the picture. I might just fade that off anyway. All around, there's a lot to a realistic tiger. All right, lady, you ready? Yep. Yeah. All right, brother. Go get him, dude. I am not going to leave Gary's side, because this is probably one of the most important tattoos of his lifetime. He gets to take out one of the biggest players in the house. So I'm going to sit right here and make sure he does this thing the way it needs to be done. They don't have to lay that light of a line. They still want longevity, bro. Thanks, coach. Even though me and Josh butt heads, we need to put our differences aside. This is all pretty much one value, this yeah. weird yeah, t-shirt gonna... shape. Like, almost... I want to texture it. Yeah, yeah. I've showed him a few tricks to get through this challenge. Hopefully, he listens to me for once and actually applies them. Pay attention to your reference. Yeah. <laughs> Seven, two, you look at it once. I can't lose another artist, especially Josh. Four hours, guys. Four hours left. Be careful of that sharp line there. Just do the mouth and sharpen that tooth before you forget. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Gary's just going so slow at this. Let's do what you see and get moving, bro. Man, you got to speed this up. There's so many details. With only two people tattooing head to head, there is no cushion to the bottom. You are the bottom, and you will go home. I want that face done in two hours. As long as you do everything that you see, game over. This is yours. You took out the big dog. <laughs> I have to win. I want to show my daughter. If you want to succeed in life, you can't give up. It doesn't matter who's on the other side of me. I'm not here to lose. Gary's a great competitor, but I'm sending him home today. I understand the route you're going, but you just gotta start creating that texture off that black. If you would have magged that black in, you would have already have that texture started. Josh seems real confident sitting over there, but I'm here to fight. This is gonna be dark. Yeah. I gotta use a different machine for that. I find it pretty funny that all the other competitors are trying to help Gary. Everybody in this house is trying to give him pointers, and he can't even hear his own voice anymore. You have two hours to go. Two more hours. At first, I thought Josh was going to win. But he's a couple of the pupils too far over. Like, one eye looks like it's looking this way. I've taken a lot of hate, a lot of people thinking that I don't deserve to be in the finale. I have to shut them all up, and I have to prove what I can do. See how you got a lot of skin in yep. the lines? Just change the tone from skin. The first two, three years of my career tattooing, I was homeless. I literally lived in my car for a period of time. 
struggling through everything I've gone through will all be kind of justified if I can make it to that final stage and if I can come out of this thing victorious. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, machine's down, time is up, no more ink. She's like, thank God. <laughs> Dude, that's a badass piece, man. Thanks, man. Pretty stoked? Yeah. Worth the pain? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. You're very welcome. It's gorgeous. Today, you faced off for your survival in this competition. Josh and Gary, based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Let's start with Josh. Do a beautiful tattoo here. You definitely capture the look of the tiger. I really like what you did on the hair coming out of the ears, and you really gave a strong swing at lining up all these whiskers and the backdrop of the fur against the whiskers. For me, the biggest letdown is gonna be the eyes. Yeah, the one eye, she got to where she was moving and I couldn't get her to sit still, and I think I just jogged it a little and I had to overcorrect. Obviously, I'm looking at it, and the focal point for me, that went. Yeah. You really hit the wetness of the bottom lip. The top teeth get a little bit away from you. Like the one tooth that's a little more standing on its own, yours is a little different than the reference. In the stripes underneath the face, all that fur and all the little lines you put in each stripe to really show the direction of the fur is amazing. I really just shot for something that literally looked like it could leap right off his skin. Gary. I love the pose you chose. I love the image you chose. I particularly love the look you got in the tiger's eyes. Those eyes look beautiful and wet. Really great little attention to detail. Where I think you have challenges, your whiskers make new shapes. They look more electrifying. It doesn't have that slow, flowing, long, wispy feel to it. It's a little spider webby towards the edges. And one thing that would help this tattoo out a lot is if the top of the head was the top of the tattoo. Where you put the arch of the back, it rounds this whole thing off to a big ball shape. If you would have left a little bit of breathability, that shape of that chin would have looked really strong. But you show us a really nice black and gray tattoo, solid black, smooth transitions, multiple tones. Thank you very much. It is now time to determine who is going home. The challenge was consistency. Gary's looks like someone totally different did those whiskers than the forehead. So to me, that's inconsistency. At least both eyes are consistent. What's up with that wonky eye? That's all you guys come back to. But speaking as a non-tattooer, the first thing you look at is the eyes. And those eyes are jacked. His ears are the wrong shape, and they're wobbly. The whole face is twisted on an angle. There's lots of inconsistencies in yours, too. What's up with that eye? What other problems? OK, take his whiskers out, take my eyes out. He missed the whole mane, and his ears are wrong. Bro, you missed the whole face. Gary's whiskers take up a fourth of his tattoo. Josh's is one little eye. I have a hard time getting past the whiskers against that white fur. I don't know what the f I'm looking at. My vote's for Gary. Gary's does get a little more hard to read in the bottom half of the tattoo. That's the point that kills it for me. I got to vote for Gary. My vote's also for Gary. The judges have decided, Gary, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. Thanks, guys. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Gary. Thank you, Gary. You have five hours to tattoo head to head against your opponent. The two artists that lose will be eliminated. And your time starts now. Let's do this. All right, kiddo, you're in. This tattoo is do or die. Maddie and I have some unfinished business. I don't think my moment of clarity could have come at a better time. Sitting like a rock, that's awesome. I'm gonna do anything I can to get the best tattoo out of you and make sure you don't go home. That is not in the cards today, I tell you that. Holy This is the rematch of the century. Yeah. <laughs> it's just gangster, dude. I'm totally rooting for Maddie in this one. He's in my alliance, and I'd just like to see Sausage get his. Maddie clearly has the more dynamic drawing of the two, but Sausage finally looks focused today. He's a great technician. He actually could win this thing. 
I'm a well-oiled machine. I am killing this tattoo. Six textures, I can count. Seven textures. I'm gonna put so much texture in this thing that you're gonna be able to run your finger across the top and the zombie's gonna bite your finger off. Addy, see you later. Bye-bye. Two hours, two hours to go, guys. I gotta say, I think this particular challenge was a pretty against your way to do I was pissed, but now I feel like at least I can get my head back into the game, and I'm gonna execute this tattoo to the best of my abilities. I hate to be the judge on this one. You want an anatomical heart with texture in it? I'm doing the most textured part that Eat Master's ever seen. I chose an anatomical heart because I'm trying to prove to the world that I can do photorealism. If you can't do all styles in one you here. That I am the most versatile competitor that's ever competed. He's all pissed off because he's got to do photorealistic. Well, you pick me, dude. I mean, I'm going to give you what you want to do. F you. If I lose this, I just proved twice that my photorealism game is not on point. Where the f did that come from? You thought I was one trick pony, huh? You are one trick pony. All you can do is tattoo. If this thing isn't super textured, I just sent myself home. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Time's up. Machines down. No more ink. Hats off, gentlemen. Man, that thing's awesome. This is a great situation for me because Clean and Sausage are two of the toughest veterans in the house. If we can knock both of them out, that's great. Today, each of you had to face off head to head with another artist. Two of you will pack your machines. Sausage and Maddie, you tattooed color zombie faces head to head. Maddie, let's see how you did. Very strong move choosing the zombie heads for texture day. I threw my gloves off and went bare knuckle with sausage. Either me or him, we're gonna go out swinging. I love the action, the motion that you captured with it. I really love the color theory in this thing. It really helps with the contrast. It really helps with the texture. The most dynamic part is the eye and that jaw just hanging open and just going haywire. The rotting texture of the flesh, the really rotting texture in the mouth that you pull in the front, that whole Swiss cheese, webby, cool effect. I love all that stuff. What I like about this man is it just looks like a sticker, without a doubt. I think that your tattoo has a lot of punch. Sausage. My favorite parts about this tattoo is the depth you were able to capture, the deep inset of the mouth, the deep inset of the eyes. The texture coming in and out of the depth of these images really add to the effect. There's some nice tricks. I like the blown out cataract looking eye. All the pits and the nasty little areas in the forehead are nice touches. You really do a nice job in the mouth and the tongue. Those little white dots give it that hint of life in the front, but really dark depth in the back. You guys are definitely a good match. You're two strong tattooers, and this is a great fight. Jimmy and Clean, you tattooed photorealistic anatomical hearts head to head. Let's see how you did. Let's start with Jimmy. So Jimmy, why did you challenge Clean? Honestly, I challenged him because I thought we were gonna do some drawing. So when he chose the photorealistic anatomical heart. That one was a bit of a shot, but I was like, oh, of all the stuff we could have picked, that's what you landed on. I like your use of black in this tattoo in certain areas and less black in other areas that really make the different areas of the heart stand out. I love what you did up in the fatty tissue area. The color combinations you use there, that icy blue with that weird off-tone light creamy color, it really has a great look. Good job putting your personal sensibilities aside and just technically doing a strong tattoo. Thank you, guys. Clean. You've had a controversial history with this house in terms of photorealism. My photorealism is a little whack, you know? So uh, I'm like, just get good at it. Then you're like, going to be the man. I love this tattoo. There's depth to it. It's slightly gory. I tried to make it gory, but beautiful. The wetness, the slickness, the veiny textures in the bottom. I love the little skull highlight you tipped in the bottom there. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I think it's cool. It's really HD. It has texture everywhere. But to me, what I'm really impressed with is the color play. It creates life in the tattoo because it has that lavender kind of hue to it that plays off of the really rich black overall. The drawing on this thing's great. The balance is great. The textures in it are great. You knocked it out of the park. Thanks. All right, guys, it's time to make a decision. 
between Jimmy and Clean, they're both different takes on the heart. Jimmy's got a little bit more fatty tissue to the musculature. Clean has a little bit more of the veiny details and the wetness going on. I like them both a lot. They're both really strong. It's a tough one, man. It's two strong tattooers, but I feel like the black is what really sets off Clean's tattoo. Even outside the tattoo, I think that rich darkness makes his more dynamic on the heart. Judging on the dynamics, the capturing of the depth, Cleans does have that. Something extra over the top. I gotta vote for Clean. I also vote for Clean. Clean. The judges have decided, Jimmy, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. I do feel like I have what it takes to be Ink Master. I just don't have what it takes to play this game. Fair enough. It's an honor to have you come back and to allow us to sit where we sit and you do what you do. Nothing but respect and love for what you do and who you are. Thank you. Please pack your machines and close shop. It is time to determine between Sausage and Maddie which artist will be packing their machines. Both these guys knock texture out of the park. I actually see more examples of texture in Sausage's tattoo, but I like Maddie's tattoo better. Sausage did great on a lot of textures, but it kind of looks like his zombie is posing for his passport photo. Maddie's looks like it just got whacked off the shoulders of the baseball bat. Yeah, his is really exciting, but man, I, I sure do like the idea that I just went balls to the wall with the texture. You guys asked us for dynamic, creative tattoos. I came out tattooing with a Louisville slugger instead of a tattoo machine. I did an awesome tattoo. We have to vote on texture, obviously, but we also have to just go on best tattoo of the day. I see Sausage having more examples of texture, and I see Maddie delivering a more appealing tattoo. It's glossy. One's muted down, the other one's just ramped up. Sausage, I love the details you put in it, but I don't think you had a good exit strategy for the back of this tattoo. You didn't have a way to end it, and it's very guessworky on where each part of the hair finishes. My vote's for Sausage. Chris. Sausage. My vote's for Sausage as well. The judges have decided, Sausage, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. I respect all your work. You're a great fighter, and I know you're a great tattooer. Please pack your machines and close shop.